Hi everybody, this is John Lamasny, and tonight I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, add some blur to an image. And the uh, reason that I'm going to do this for 365 is to illustrate uh, something I'm going through personally right now, which is I'm uh, struggling with cataracts, which was a surprise to me. I always had perfect vision. Um, but recently I got diagnosed with early onset cataracts and I was as surprised as anybody else. But um, I figured that I would use the image tonight to not only illustrate uh, sort of what uh, cataracts are like, but also illustrate how to use the GIMP in order to manipulate a photo. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the image that I want to manipulate. Here's my dialog. I downloaded it to my um, downloads folder. I'm going to open it up. It will probably be huge. No, it's not. It's actually a, a perfect size. So, um, what I'm going to do essentially is I'm going to select a portion of this image and uh, apply a blur and then I'm going to use the blur tool in order to push it even further. So uh, the first thing I'll do is I will use the free select tool to select a portion of this image. Uh, you know what? I think what I'll do is I'll use the scissors select tool. And what that does is essentially um, allow me to click along an image and wherever there is a difference in the image it will put that selection close to that difference. And I'm going to change over here uh, the selection method to add to the current selection as opposed to replace the current selection. If I can. Well, it looks like I'm not going to be able to do that. So. Let's use a third method. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the quick mask tool. And the quick mask tool is located down in the corner here. And what it does is uh, puts a red transparency over the photo and also allows me to manipulate that red transparency. For this I'm going to pick up my um, Wacom uh, my Wacom tablet select a larger brush something like this one here. Uh, 
I'm essentially going to erase what I don't want. Meaning that um, I'm going to erase this mask so that I can affect the um, portion of the image that still remains. So by removing this red mask, I'm essentially unprotecting uh, the sign that I'm revealing here. Trying to be especially careful about it. And I think I'm actually going to increase the scale of my brush. <laughs> That's better. In this particular case, I'm not actually erasing the image, obviously. I'm erasing the mask, the quick mask that I put on there. In this particular case, I'm really most interested in selecting the text because uh, with my cataracts, that is the thing that suffers the most is my ability to read. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to put my pen down and I'm going to... Um, turn off my quick mask and you can see now that um, the selection is the portion that I erased from the mask. So now I'm going to go to my uh, blur tool which is right here. Let me just show you what that looks like. I'm going to increase the scale of my brush again And what that allows me to do is to begin to blur the portion of the image that I have um, selected. Whereas if I move over to another portion of the image that is not selected and try to blur it, I won't be able to because it's protected. So to simplify this process a bit, I'm going to uh, simply apply a filter and the filter I'm going to apply is a Gaussian blur filter which is inside of my um, filters 
menu. I'm going to increase this number. You can see that it uh, has a significant effect on the selected part of the image. I'm going to say OK to apply that. And now I'm going to go into my select menu and select none. And that is so uh, now the entire image is unprotected. And I'll be able to go in with a finer blur tool. I'll increase the rate a bit. And this is this is sort of what it's like um, as I'm as I'm driving, especially somewhere where I've not been before. Um, unfortunately, if it's not somewhere <clears throat> that I'm already familiar with, reading uh, on a sign can be just about this difficult. And just today, I scheduled the uh, surgery so that I'll be able to get this repaired. So. I'm, I'm plenty happy that I won't have to uh, deal with this particular issue too much anymore. So I'm just going in and uh, blurring a bit in specific areas. And that's about all that I'm going to do. I wanted to show you how to use some of the selection tools, uh, such as the Quick Mask tool. I wanted to show you how to use the Scissor Select tool. And um, that works well for a single selection, but apparently does not work well for multiple selections. Um, and I wanted to show you how to use the Blur Filter, the Gaussian Blur Filter, and the uh, Blur Tool, and some of the settings that go along with that. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope uh, you keep coming back to check out the videos that I'm putting out about how to use the GIMP and Inkscape. Have a good night.